So this was another question that I really liked the sound of and the look of is, can I use an AWS certification alone to get hired? Short and sweet, is it possible to get hired to work remotely with just an AWS certificate? Tony's I think that's a good question. I'm going to upvote that. I'm going to come down here. We've got a few responses, obviously. What's my opinion on this? Can you use an AWS certification alone to get hired? I think that you can. And I think that this is actually one of the key benefits of certification is you go, look, I don't have any commercial experience. I've never worked in the industry. However, I have taken the time to study and pass this certification. And when it's something like an AWS associate architect, or even if you, if even if you're really sort of talented or just really smart or just really driven and you get the pro certification, because that's such a well-known certification, an employer can look at that and they know what it is that you've passed. They understand the, the, the obstacles that you've had to overcome in order to essentially pass that certification. They know for a fact that you've had to build out an environment. You have to understand IAM, EC2, S3, RDS, all these core services, all these little gotchas and tricks, all these little sort of fiddly bits about those services. They're putting scenarios in front of you and you're correctly identifying the correct solution for the customer based on the requirements, based on the question. And you've gone ahead and studied for that and then passed it. So when you've got no experience, certification can actually be a really good way of saying, okay, I don't have, I don't have any experience, but I have met this benchmark as verified by AWS as a vendor. And you as an employer want someone that can do AWS. And I'm saying to you based on certification that I can do that. So that's a really great way of getting a junior role. Now there is a, a sort of one little thing I want to touch on here. He has this poster has asked, is it possible to get hired to work remotely? I would say that given the current situation with the pandemic with COVID-19, obviously things have changed with regards to going into the office space. People are now working remotely and more people are actually demanding that you're working remotely. So three years ago, I might've said that would be really difficult. But today, I think that it would be much more possible to say, I'm a junior, I don't have experience, I've met this benchmark, I wanna work remotely. And I think that as more people work remotely, more employers are now seeing that they can actually access a larger pool of specialists in particular fields now, because they're working from home. They've got a great camera, they've got a microphone, they can operate from a from a home environment in a professional manner. And so now they can actually tap into the market. So I would say, yes, I would say that the opportunity right now to get remote working is quite high. So I don't think there's anything about these two particular, there's essentially almost two questions is, can I get hired with just this AWS certificate? And do you think I can get hired remotely? And I think the answer to both of these is yes. I would say, get the certificate, study for it, get the certificate. I would say set up a GitHub account, start creating some code. Even if I obviously I'm a hardcore Terraform fan, anyone who watches the streams, which is my channel, it's on the Discord server, chat.learndevops.com.au. Anyone there will tell you that I'm a hardcore Terraform fan. But even if you do an AWS certification and you write a public GitHub repository that contains lots of cloud formation, that starts building all of these common sort of stacks in there for you, go to an employer with a very well-written cover letter, and a really very simple, clean CV, a good LinkedIn profile, the certification. Don't forget to in include the validation linked on your LinkedIn so they can click that and see that it's valid and your GitHub repository and say, this is what I'm capable of doing at this current state, at this current um, time and date, this is what I can do. I think that that is more than sufficient to get a junior position remotely in most in most countries i would say yeah i don't think you're going to have an issue it's going to be harder because you are going to be up against people who are going to have some experience you're going to be up against people who have maybe certification and experience and so if they can get someone with experience for the same price you're going to be up against a lot of competition however i would say it's definitely possible yeah good question let's have a look to see what other people are saying um, it depends which certification and how well you can sell yourself on the skills knowledge you have acquired through doing the certifications 
AWS IQ is a freelance service which allows certified AWS users to showcase their certifications and work with companies on projects. That's correct. Yeah, AWS IQ is somewhere where you go and you register and then companies can approach you to, to do work. And it's all sort of verified via AWS. They can they can profile you and say, this person, we know this person has passed these certifications and can do these things. But I also agree with that first point that it depends which certification and how well you can sell yourself. That's true. You've got to be confident in your ability to say things like, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but I can go and find the answer because I'm I'm willing to learn and I can understand things and I can read documentation and I understand fundamentals and so on and so forth. So you've also got to be able to communicate and sell yourself. If that that's pretty that pretty much applies anywhere really not just it that's pretty much any job even whether you you go into work as a barista i mean that's that's what you've got to do if you're going to go work cleaning clean cleaning toilets you've still got to be able to sell yourself versus the next person that wants that job too so that's a that's an interesting comment i agree some people okay so we've got someone who disagrees here not really it's mostly meant to augment our existing career history i would suggest building up a portfolio on github or some cdk and or cloud formation solutions and so on and so forth so i would disagree with that but also agree with the concept of having a portfolio piece i think that saying that it augments an existing career history i wouldn't say that that's accurate it's actually the complete opposite i'll give you i'll tell you a story when i did my ccna or CCENT back in the day, many, many years ago now, the guy that was running the test center had done his CCIE 10 years prior and never, ever renewed it. And when I asked him why, he said, because you just simply don't need it. I did the CCIE, it got me the high paying jobs, and then he was done. That was it. He never, ever needed it again. I've been in the industry for years, and I did my AWS Associates exam six years ago five six maybe seven years ago now i'd have never ever renewed it no one's ever asked me about certification at all no one's asked me if i've got a degree no one's asked me if i've even finished school they just look at your history they ask you questions and then you you either get the job or you don't when you're first coming into the industry certifications are quite frankly they're your bread and butter you you will you will need them so i sort of disagree with what this person's saying here let's have a look this person's also saying no the cert alone will not get you the job Again, I do disagree with that. Just getting a certificate is not the criteria to get hired. A lot of people are actually disagreeing. I, I, I think a, I think a certificate is perfectly, perfectly good way of getting noticed and putting yourself above the crowd. Let's have a look. I got one. I felt it wasn't enough. I agree. It's definitely not enough. A portfolio piece, portfolio set is definitely something that's quite important. No. A lot of people are actually saying um, no. Hi, it depends. Do so you have experience in death? Uh, deaf to back that certificate. Well, I mean, no, they, they've clearly said that they don't. Certificates are great to learn and deep dive, but you need some experience and definitely need to have hungry eyes. I think the hungry eyes is, is a good one there. Sort of like you've got to be looking around and learning things. But again, the person is, you can't, I mean, you've got to, that doesn't really make sense because you've got to sort of have experience. You've got to sort of get a job to get experience. So this just doesn't really make too much sense to me. Um, I recently posted a YouTube video about it, so I might check that video out, actually. Pop that up over here, move that over into another browser window. All right, pause that. Let's go down here. Yes, please, that would be very helpful. Oh, that's the thing. My apologies. Not really. A lot of people disagreeing, but honestly, I think that, I think it, I think it can, and I think I've, uh, and I've seen it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't understand why many people would disagree. But yeah, that's just my thought. What, how do you feel? Let's have a look. Um, da, da, da. How vigorous will it be first DevOps? How vigorous will it be for the first DevOps position? I understand it depends on the job responsibility, but can you share your experience? How vi how vigorous will it be? Can you a ADV? Can you expand on what you mean in terms of? Do you mean in terms of getting your first job? Like how hard would it be? Uh, honestly, so Dan, okay, I honestly must disagree. I literally just spoke with someone who had the high level architect, but never deployed services or theoretical and passed the tests can be good, but it's meant to be very little to some folks. If you're applying for a junior role, it might mean more, but I've met more mid to senior level folks with certs who could, couldn't do anything with the knowledge from the cert. Learning how to approach problems critically is more important than having the cert in my, my opinion. What I would say is. I would say that having the certificate shows that you can essentially meet a certain benchmark. And so a lot, so especially like government and, and enterprises, they're the sort of types of organizations that are very so heavy 
and they're the kind of organizations who can actually afford to take on juniors. So a startup is very cash poor, and so they tend to need people to be running really, really quickly, which is why startup rates tend to be, wages tend to be very high, because they know they need to be hiring people who can do the job, and people who can do the job don't need to validate that they can do the job with certification. But people coming into the industry, I mean, ultimately, like I disagree with going to university and doing computer science, unless you want to be a computer scientist or an academic. If you want to go into the industry and be a programmer, I would not suggest going to university at all. I would suggest going out and building a portfolio of software, talking to people, networking, applying to jobs, and in an interview saying, I know I don't have any experience, but here's six applications that I've written. They're all small utilities, but it showcases my back-end skills, my front-end skills, both, whatever. And having a portfolio piece is definitely way more powerful. But I think that whilst you're building a portfolio piece, if you do a certificate at the same time, then you're just sort of knocking two bottles down with one stone because the certificate will teach you things that you can then use to build a portfolio piece. And so having certification, given that it can be pretty cheap, like if you look at uh, Adrian Cantrell, I think his name is, his AWS Associates course is like 40 bucks and it's complete course. It's very, very highly recommended. Tens of thousands of students very, very easy to go through. And that's actually, well, you'll end up coming out the end of that with a cloud formation portfolio. So you'll end up coming out of that with all the knowledge you need to push the cert, and you'll end up with a big portfolio piece that you can then use in interviews to then say, this is what I can do. Because you've got to remember that this person is saying, can I use my AWS certification alone to get hired? So they're effectively saying, I don't really have any experience. So they can't go into an interview with experience. They have to use every piece of ammunition, every piece of uh, ammunition that they have in order to hit the target. And so I believe that certification is going to help them do that. Very nice.